Hey y'all, I'm Vanessa. Welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a review of the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. And I don't know if the coverage is supposed to be medium or full, but I get into all that when I start applying it. Um, but you can clearly see my face. I forgot to do an intro and it's been about seven hours. So here you go. Still looking fresh. I agree. But um, I got the shade 465 Sand. This is the perfect shade for my winter uh, skin tone. So if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below and let's go ahead and get into this review. Okay, so I am using the shade 465. This is a glass bottle. I really do like the bottle. And the pump looks like that. It's different than, you know, a regular pump. So I'm going to try uh, with a beauty blender or a sponge. It's Eco Tool sponge, not a beauty blender. But I just want to see which one I like better. I know for coverage, I'm going to want a brush, but I may like the finish better with a sponge. So I'm going to put some out. It's quite runny. Like it's not super runny, but it's pretty runny. I did like a pump and a half. All right, I'm gonna do a brush on the right side and then we will do, gosh, I can't even hardly get this. And then we'll do a sponge on the other side. Wow, the coverage is really, really nice with the brush. This does have fragrance in it. Kind of smells like a man to me. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it, but it, it smells like a man. That coverage is pretty dang nice. All right, let's go with a sponge over here. And I do like the finish of the brush. Like, I'm kind of shocked. I don't know, for some reason I expected this to be a little thicker or heavier. We will see. We will see. Yeah, coverage is way, way better with a brush. But I am going to use the sponge on my forehead. And then if I don't like the finish all that well, I'll just go back over with the sponge when I'm done. But it blends out, sorry, it blends out super, super nicely with either. So quite pleased quite pleased right now all right I'm gonna go back over this with my brush build this up in a few places we will see if it builds I'm just running over everything with the sponge just to make sure I don't have any brush streaks because my brush may need to be cleaned a little bit so we're not going to talk about that either. Making sure we got around that jawline because I don't want a big streak there. Also, I'm just in my sports bra. That's, that's, that's cool. Was too lazy to even put a shirt on, but I mean, it looks fine. Like you, you can't tell. I'm good with it. So this is what we are looking like. I would say the coverage is high medium coverage i do not think this is full coverage you can still see like my freckles a little bit of my redness here but i think for every day this looks super super good like i really really like it and i would say that you could build it up to get even better coverage but i'm pretty dang happy with it so I'm going to go off camera, finish up my face, my eyes and all that, and I'll be right back. So I put on a shirt for you guys, like a real big girl shirt. So you're welcome. And this is what we're looking like. It's been about an hour. I took my time. I did another tutorial um, with the Urban Decay palette and I'm loving this eye look. But the skin looks beautiful i absolutely love it 
I definitely think you could build it up more, but I really like the way it looks. It set on its own. It does not feel heavy at all. I mean in the slightest. Like it is so good. Like just, ah, uh, I think it looks so beautiful. And literally I don't feel it on my face. Like I'm shocked. It has really good coverage, but I am gonna go on a little date with my youngin. And then when I get back from that, I'll do another check-in and then we'll do final thoughts. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so it has been about seven and a half hours. And this is what we're looking like. <laughs> No joke, I'm pretty sure this is going to be one of my new favorites. It has hardly creased in my smile lines at all. And I'm pretty sure that's because it is just so thin. It's beautiful. <clears throat> oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> but it is just beautiful, you guys. I love it. I love it. It's not breaking apart. I didn't have to set it. It's like my perfect shade match for the winter. Like, yes, highly recommend. I got mine from Ulta. I've not seen it in store anywhere yet. Um, like my Walmart doesn't have it, CVS, anything like that. So you can definitely get it on Ulta. I would say really any skin type could wear this. If you're oily, set it. If you're dry, don't set it because it sets on its own and normal, of course. So totally recommend checking this out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.